says, For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Well, it's springtime. It's time to, to plant a garden. Uh, my boys got into that last year. I planted gardens way back. It had been a long time. but um, It's interesting to watch things grow. It's fun to watch things grow. Um, but there's some key elements that you need to, uh, to have a garden. And one of the first and foremost things is water and rain. And we got that this week. And we praise God that we've got some, some moisture, some water in the area. We hadn't had rain like this in several years. So uh, we praise God for that rain. But the second thing you need, I think, is uh, pure seed. Whenever you plant something, you want that to come up. If you want to plant watermelon, you want watermelon to come up. You don't want Russian thistles to come up in the middle of your watermelon. Uh, you know, even if you plant plant cantaloupe, you don't want squash coming up where you got cantaloupe. What you plant, you, that's what you want to come up. And here, Paul is telling us that we reap what we sow. So if it's like here it says, if we sow of the flesh, if we're always constantly thinking about the lust of the flesh, dishonesty, cheating somebody, how we can get ahead in this world, that's what we're going to inherit. We're going to reap what we sow. We're going to reap that at the end of times. But if we're in the Spirit and we are uh, sowing the Spirit, if we're sowing the Word of God out there, if we've got the Word of God in our heart, that's what's going to come out. If, if we, uh, we have love, if we show love, study love, Love will come out. Um, you know, we use this analogy a lot, and, and uh, it comes from a, a guy out at Prairie Hill, but what's in the well does come up in the bucket. I mean, that, it's just as simple as that. You know, whatever you have in your well is going to come out. You can try to hide it, you know. You can, uh, when you're around certain people, you can, you can try to act good. But if it's there, it's going to come out. So we have, to, we have to put good in our heart. We have to put God in our heart to keep the worldly things out so that we can reap what is good. Um, verse 9 here says that we may not see what we have sown. You know, it may take a while before that seed comes up, before that uh, we reap what we sow. Uh, so don't get disheartened. Um, you know, if, if what we're doing don't look like it's impressing anybody, if it don't look like we're uh, reaching the world, don't get disheartened. Because whenever you got God in your heart, whenever you got the Spirit in your heart, um, it says that you will reap it. And uh, verse 10 is the one that, that, I, uh, that I really got stuck on and I really felt uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot of wanting to talk about. It says that, uh, well, let's just read it here. It says, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. You know, we treat people badly. I mean, I do it, you do it, we all do it. It happens. But why do we treat brothers and sisters in Christ badly? Um, why is it that we're talking about them, backbiting, when it's over nothing? Um, and it happens. I know it happens. I do it. I've done it in the past, and we all do it. But it says to treat brothers and sisters in Christ fairly, treat them uh, uh, with good faith. So whatever we do in this world, whenever we're in the Spirit, whenever we are... Uh, trying to reap what we sow, be sure that, uh, that we don't 
start putting down our brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, we're all here for the same reason. We're here to uh, spread God's word, to bring more souls to him. So, uh, so watch what you do. And, uh, you know, reap what you sow. Put in your heart God. You know, don't put in your heart the worldly things. And, uh, life will be, uh, I don't want to say it, be easier, but you'll receive more blessings from it. Pray with me, please. Lord, we, uh, we ask you to be with us and to help us and to guide us and to, uh, to put into our hearts your word, your life, whenever we ask, Lord, and that we will study it and that you will come out in us, Lord. And we pray that you will help us and guide us and, and show the world through you that uh, you are the way and that we can, uh, we can achieve everlasting life through you. We only believe, Lord. And dear Lord, help us and guide us. Keep us safe. Be with, uh, be with us today as we go through these times of worship, these times of uh, preaching that, uh, that your word will lay upon our hearts and, and uh, enter into us and that uh, we will be filled with you.